One of my early inspirations and someone that helped me a lot was John Mozo. And John Mozo was an amazing photographer. So I went and met with John. I found an ad in a film lab, drove out to North Shore with my dad, and he got me my very first camera housing. I still remember going to him, and it was a Canon A2E. It was a yellow housing. We went to a studio in Haleiwa, and he sat down with me, and he explained everything, helped me with my settings, helped me with the housing, and that stuck with me. There's so many amazing photographers that came before me, and they've shaped me to be the photographer I am today. And that's how I want to relate and relay back to the community and to kids growing up because it made such an impact in me. I'm Zach Noel, born and raised here in Honolulu, Hawaii. The best waves in the world. Hi, Dad. Dax is closed. Uh, we have to go. Um, let's go outrigger. Okay, bye. Sorry. I guess photography does run in my blood. I think as far as influences, I'd have to say my dad is my biggest influence in photography. You know, as well as running a business, as well as being a human, husband, father, and every way. And I really look to him to like how I do everything in my life. But I try to come in here but it was legit like six to eight, like, and like you couldn't see where the channel was. Now, by the way, they saved 300 people that day, right? So it was one of the biggest swells. And he told me, hey dad, if something happens to me, I make sure I took a picture of you. Thank you, Zach. <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably do it now, but like not, at, you know what I mean? Oh, like yeah. in 16 or 17. 16 17. I remember being terrified. I grew up swimming, playing water polo being in the ocean surfing, but had never been in a wave like Pipeline. And Randall Paulson was actually the first person to get me to go out there. And we'd always shoot on the South Shore and he's like, you're ready for Pipeline now. And went out there and he taught me a lot about respect and sitting behind the other photographers and, you know, knowing my place. And that was that. This is my parents' house where I grew up in. Um, born and raised here, and um, has a lot of good memories. When I'm home and not having to travel, no waves out, I'll wake up still early, get a good workout in early in the morning, get it done with by seven o'clock. I feel that I really need to have the proper physical shape as well as mental shape. And by having that optimal levels, I know and I'm very comfortable with my skill set that I can be in these waves. Recovery is just as important as your workout. Through Brian McKenzie and Rico Jimenez, we're doing heat and ice recovery. At this point in your body, the inflammation is going down. To me, what I love about the ice bath is you can't pee anywhere else, mentally or physically. If you're distracted during the day, if you have other things on your mind, there's something stressing you, anything like that, you have to refocus yourself and put yourself right there in the moment. When they first started off with Ruka, I remember doing some of the first pictures of Danny for Ruka, and that kind of started my relationship with Ruka. And Pat Tenori is just such a visionary. I mean, he literally collects characters and people and, and almost creatures like that just come together and they work well together. In the wild, they wouldn't work together, but somehow he gets them all to sit at the same table and it works beautifully in a brand that's Ruka. Pat bringing me in was such a weird thing. You don't have a photographer represented by a brand in the way that I am. You don't have a photographer being treated in the way that Ruka has treated me. It's something that I think is completely new ground and I'm so very fortunate for Pat to have that vision to what I could be and where I will go with my career and with the brand. <music> I got into photography for the love. You know, the love of the ocean, the love of sharing, 
the love of giving. And I created aquatography workshops as a way that I could give back. It's something so important to me to be able to give back to the next generation or to anyone to help them to like follow their dreams and their passions. And to me, that's like the best gift and something that I can like give to others. There's so many that don't want to share this. They don't want to let others in. They think it's an exclusive club or anything like this, but with digital, it's everyone can do it. Everyone's a photographer with their phone. So why not help someone that's truly passionate about something, take that into a career. And I think that's such a cool thing that you can change someone's life in that way. Being able to share my photography worldwide with people that will never go into the places I go. Well, they'll never go to these waves. They'll never be in these waves that I am in. And to be able to share those moments with them and put them there, that's what really drives me. That's what really motivates me and wants me to keep going. The swell is big at Pipeline. I still get very nervous. And I think that's what keeps driving me back after 10 years. To choose the right lens that I want to swim out with, that takes some doing. There's so many different factors along the line for that. And it comes with experience. I also got to worry about the swim out. And the swim out is, it never gets easier. I'm still nervous swimming out and I'm still hesitant and I'm still waiting, but I know and I'm very confident in my abilities and that I've been there. And I wait for that right moment when I feel this right. I jump in the water. The moment you jump in the water, don't stop swimming.